tried research, I've tried industry, and then teaching. Teaching was the one thing that I found most fulfilling, and I think it's because I was able to interact with students and with other people in more meaningful ways. Teaching was the only one where I felt that what I did had immediate impact with other people. Most of my teaching is based around personalized learning. When I interact with the students, I learn about what different students have trouble with, what they like, what their backgrounds are, what their interests are, and then I try to incorporate that into my teachings. And because my background is in machine learning, I started combining that interest with learning analytics and trying to get data to see in a large class whether I can use data to better understand what the students' interests are and what kind of feedback is needed to provide more direction for the individual students. I'm most passionate about improving things around me. So when I see something that's wrong, it could be part of an administrative system, way things work with students, their course load, course material, teaching strategy. I just want to fix them and improve them. That gets me going. Most of my work involves a lot of my students, and they're mostly undergraduate students. I think what got me interested in supervising them is the ability to collaborate with them. There's so much I learn from them and they, they don't understand that because they feel like, you know, I'm the professor, they're the students and they should be learning from me always, but it's not always like that. We're often drawing various things on the board and just trying to flesh out the algorithms or trying to come up with cases where things work and don't work. Definitely the best part of my job. I am very honored to be given this award, but I really think the bottom line is that without my nominator, without the people who have supported me, fellow faculty members and the students, I wouldn't be here today.